Hello guys, you are welcome back to the channel. This is Waste 2 Farms Aquaponics, the heart of perfect farming. If this is your first time of watching this channel, I will urge you, plead to you, please subscribe to this channel, Waste 2 Farms Aquaponics, the heart of perfect farming, and go to the notification bell and click on it so that you'll be getting more interesting videos that will educate you more about farming on this great wonderful channel so you're once more welcome back to the free online training classroom so previously on the last video we were discussing about fish health management so i was trying to tell you guys there are so many things you could do that will lead these fishes to be sick so you don't actually wait until they break down the fall sick before you start treating like they say prevention what is better than what cure so based on fish health management so i would say practically health management is based on stress management and this involves prevention and maximizing stress on the fishes now if you're a fish farmer try as in as much as possible as you could to eliminate anything that will cause those fishes to undergo stress because the moment you start making your fishes to undergo stress, then you're endangering their health situation. Their health care is under great danger. So one of those things that could make fishes undergo stress, one, if you overstock them in the pond. When the fishes are overstocked in the pond now, they wouldn't have that ability to move frequently just like a room that's supposed to be containing 10 people and um you 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 now like kept 40 people inside that room definitely they will not be able to lie down they will be standing and they will go they will undergo pressure and once those fishes are undergoing stress now the it leads to what we we'll call bad growth because they will not be able to convert every feed they are eating. And already you are losing money. If those fishes eat and they do not convert. So what is the essence of keeping them there and feeding them? So if you feed fish farmer, try as in as much as you could to eliminate anything that is going to cause overstocking in your pond. Secondly, good water management. Aside overstocking those fishes, you as a fish farmer should know when you're supposed to change your water. If you're those type of fish farmer that engage into the normal traditional way of doing your fish farming. Some people change the water after five days, some change after three days, some change after two days. Why some who are opportune or fortune to stay in um in a swamp area? who are using earthen pond they don't bother much about um the water the changing of the water so if you are such people that are blessed that your environment your you, you have the opportunity to have an earthen pond so aside changing your water know how to do your what talking density so if you follow this video from the start you will know i tell you something about stocking density and this is where it's now reflecting to the health of those fishes when you overstock those fishes they will never do well because fishes cat fishes are some kind of wonderful creatures which can shut down their system whenever they undergo stress so when that pond is overstocked and they are going undergoing stress one they'll shut down their system which will enable them to eat eat and eat without converting because they already know that ah, if i'm getting bigger than this where will i stay moreover this place is choked up so they will not want to convert those 
shut down their system that is why if you're watching some of those videos mostly asian guys even in the rural area here in africa in nigeria precisely in the swamp you will notice that after each flood it will take maybe four to five months or six months before another rainfall and you notice those local farmers when they go to harvest you see them start digging holes and taking out fishes you wonder ah where are these fishes from but those fishes burrow themselves inside the mud inside that clay once their body is moist they can stay there for six months they will hibernate their system without eating they'll shut down their system they will not grow they will not reduce weight and they will not die so they hibernate so if you overstock your fishes they go same through same processes they will not grow and they will be eaten one secondly it will lead to what they call stress because catfishes do come up to scoop air so when they overstock that process of trying to maneuver to come up to scoop the air they are going through lots of stress and the oxygen level in that pond will depreciate so 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 fast hereby making the ammonia level to start rising and you know what ammonia does to every livestock it causes sickness in them so you see how overstocking could make your fishes go sick so if you're a fish farmer avoid overstocking your pond there's always a calculation for every pond, so know it right. Calculate it correctly before you stock in your fishes so that it will not result to what will make at the end of the harvesting season, you will start crying that, wow, these fishes didn't do well. So overstocking your pond is one of those things that will make your fishes go ill or go sick. Secondly, water management. If you don't know how to manage that water, then your fishes will definitely go sick. There are rules in how to do your water water management. So as a fish farmer, you have to follow those rules. Maybe in the next video, based on because of time constraint, I will not be teaching, I will not be touching on that aspect. But I want you to know that if your water management is poor, definitely your fishes will go ill. Now, good water management talks about the water pH, the water temperature, the humidity, the acidity of the water. Okay, it has to do with the pH, whether the water is acidic or um, if the water is alkaline. Now you know if the water contains iron or so. Then you check the carbon level of the water. All those things causes illness in what? In catfish and other fishes as, as a whole as a result mostly tilapia fish wouldn't even survive in a pond that doesn't have good water oxygen dissolved oxygen in that water so another factor that could result into your fishes going ill is what good nutrition if your fishes are not feeding well the nutritional level requirement of such feed at every stage like i said in the previous video they have the starter stage they have the grower and they have the finisher so at every interval at every stage or period or life of those fishes there are estimated crude protein they're supposed to eat on that will enable them to what to grow well and be healthy so if the the, the food nutrient yes is bad the nutrition of the food is bad then your fishes are liable to go sick so don't forget you're watching with two farms aquaponics the heart of perfect farming i will continue this lecture in the next video if you've not subscribed do so click on the notification bell to always see interesting videos like this i'm signing out